The used Japanese car market has gotten ridiculous. There's R34s going for around 300 grand. I'm sure you've had your eyes on them. So the hopes of owning anything cool in JDM are pretty much non-existent at this point. But that got us thinking, could you buy something that's 2JZ powered for less than two grand? 2KZ. Very good. Very good, actually. Very nice. Yeah. Right, as standard, I'll take Facebook. Yeah. You'll take it all, I trade, I assume. Uh, so we're just looking for Supras. If you find a Supra for two grand, buy it immediately. What is the cheapest Supra? 27,995. We can afford the first number of that. <laughs> You've got it up for two, have you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got two. Yeah, well, yeah. I can bring you some cash. It also starts with a two. And a little while ago, not even that long, maybe 10, 12 years ago, they weren't that much money. Anyone's got proof. Thank you. Oh. England! Eng England, football. He's coming home. You'll be going home in a minute if you carry on like that. Wait, oh, it's, it's, it's 2010, it's not even that long ago. <gasps> Supra, 3,400 pounds? No way. But he's got his email in here. Well, drop him in an email then. <laughs> Should I bring his number? I don't think he'll still have it. Uh, there's a Supra, three litre turbo here. 70,000 miles, 5,750. I don't want to look at this actually, Edwin. Can you take that away? Because it's just sad. Oh, well, are they in other cars then? They are in other cars, yes. Edwin, fill the man in. What can he buy? You can look for an Alteza, an IS300, an what? Aristo, a GS300, a Progress, a Brevis, an SC300, a Sora, a Mark II, a Chaser, uh, a Cresta, and a Crown, the Crown Majesta. It's literally a different language. So I would say you've essentially got an IS300, a GS300, and maybe the shittest Sora in the UK. There's, I've got two Sauras here. You found Sauras? Not in our price range. How much are they, just out of curiosity? 8750 and 15499. <sighs> just absolutely mental. IS300. Cat S, 3300. Okay, close, not bad. You can get 1300 off, can't you? I can do that, yeah. A Cat S, I can't remember, is that structure? That's superb. A superb yeah. right off this was. Oh, you should have seen this thing crash. I think we're out on IS 300. Okay. Um, I think a Lexus GS 300 is probably going to be our best bet. I've got maybe four in the price range. Here. You're just bragging now. I'm not. I'm actually not. Come on then. First one, 1,600 pounds. Two grand, 2,000. 490, 2,575. Just pick which one you want. Okay, we'll just go get it. I like the red Should one. Should I close my eyes or sort of? <laughs> <laughs> let's get the red one. We, I like quite like the bug eye Mark II what one. What does it matter? You, the challenge is get a 2J, wait, Z or Z? Z, because we've been Americanized. 2J. Z if you want to speak. The Queens, go ahead <laughs> speaking the Kings. <laughs> Okay, well, where is that one? Preston. No, I'm not going Preston. It's quite far. In fact, you know, I want to visualize it, so sell me the car. Jack, I have got a lovely GS 300. Wow, that's a big number. Three litre. Wow. SE Auto does it for you. It has got silver leather. <laughs> silver. <laughs> what colour is that? Grey? That's grey leather, yeah. Grey leather, or beige. Not, not the silver. Only two keepers, long MOT, heated seats, and it's in Birmingham. And you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> if this car's so good, I think you should ring him. It's got silver leather. Hello. Hi, I'm just ringing about the Lexus GS300 you've got. And is it is it all right? Is it drive right, stop right? Yeah, yeah, fast and drive, no problem. And it's got silver leather and stuff in it? That's right, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe give you a call back later. That's not my problem. Nice one. Oh, yeah, can we just, everyone, for silver leather, you got him to say it. He said it. All right, here we go. This is something a bit tasty. I'm going to open with the thing I like most about this car. 240,000 miles. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we like a high mileage car here. We, we do. do like one. All right, all right. You sell this one to me. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. I had no plans of selling this car. It was so good. It's such a good car, but there's an LS430 that I want to buy. So unfortunately, I've got to let it go. He's actually written the selling point in current climate. It runs on LPG. What does that mean? It runs on gas, cheap gas. Someone's done that to it. Someone's done that to it. Someone's put an LPG kit on it, which means that you can fill it up for 73p a litre. What? That's like a quid cheaper Shut than everywhere else. Up. Cream leather, not as good as silver leather. Not as good as silver leather. <laughs> Cam and auxiliary belts and water pump done 15k miles ago. So it drives spot on, obviously it does. Oh, it also needs an exhaust system from the manifold down pub. Needs an exhaust system. Yeah, I think I think we're putting a little bit more information about that. So I'll, I'll message. I'll drop him a message now, and if he gets back to us, then I say, I say we go for this one. I like the look of it. I got good is energy. That, but it. is that better than? 
my ones. No, no, of course it isn't. Where is this? Where is it? Sutton Coldfield. I think that's Birmingham. Oh, this is Birmingham as well. Mine is sixteen hundred pounds. Yeah, mine's two and a half grand. That one's got LPG and more miles, and it's more expensive. They're just all. These are all good things you're saying about it. I don't. What's your point? Say it again, I don't understand. Has he got back to you yet? He has got back to me. So Cat Thieves has nicked his cat, but he says he's sorted it out, so he's got a downturn on it. So I'm guessing he's keeping it away from the car. All my things are better than yours. That car is far better than the one I'm looking at, Ethan. But this one's got 240,000 miles on it. I don't think you're really grasping the situation here. Okay, so to recap, we've got a really good car for 1,600 pound. And we've got a really bad car, quarter million miles and decap, for 2,500. So let's go to Birmingham and look at one of these cars. What's it going to be? Hey, are you enjoying this free content? Well, we've got a sponsored section. Manscaped. Manscaped, Manscaped now offer their performance kit 4.0. That's right, this thing's got a four litre straight six, making 700. No, it's not four litre, it's 4.0. Oh. It comes with the lawnmower 4.0, which is Manscaped's most advanced electric trimmer yet. It has replaceable ceramic blades featuring skin safe technology. That means it's safe for your skin. And for your balls. What's better is that it has an LED light installed. So not only can you use it to work on your balls in the dark, but you can also use it to work on your car too. It's waterproof and cordless, so you can trim in the shower or in the coolant overflow reservoir of a Lexus GS300. You can get up to 90 minutes of use on a full charge. That's 90 times longer than we got with our G-Wiz. <laughs> Also included in the Performance Kit 4.0 is the Weed Whacker Era Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Spray Toner, and Magic Matte Disposable Shaving Pads. For a limited time too, buying the Performance Kit 4.0 will also include a free travel bag. And for the next time you're out doing skids with your shit box, Manscaped will include a free pair of boxes. Good looking out, Manscaped. To get yourself a Performance Kit 4.0 with 20% off plus free shipping, hit the link in the description and use code Throttle. Thanks, Manscaped. Great job. You just knew we were going to buy the worst one, didn't you? We had to. You're yeah. a bit butthurt, actually, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. I think you need to be positive about this. We've got a car. Straight off the bat, these are clear. They're fogged up. Let's hope that's not because of some sort of accident. What's the trick for that one? Butter. Butter? <laughs> Don't butter your headlights. It might not be butter. No, what is it? Toothpaste. There's quite a lot of scratches. He wasn't lying, was it? I don't see it. I don't know what you're talking about. Are we looking at the same car? Well, well this gouge. That's just, that'll rub out at all. That's someone else's paint. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, Nothing yeah. To do with good. Us. Standard um, crust. We need it. Yes. We need it on every car we yeah, purchase. Yeah, yeah. If we'd gone and looked at this and it was clean, I probably would have walked away. Which brings yeah, us on to the price quite nicely. It was up for two and a half. We got him down to two. And we still overpaid. <laughs> yeah. Was that a grand too much? There probably is a grand too much, realistically. One of the reasons we probably overpaid is that it's LPG. I think that's interesting. That's a seller. I don't yeah. think that's a minus, I think it's a plus. On the journey up, I've come round to it. You convinced me. I didn't say anything to you. Well, I'm convinced. <laughs> but if you look down here, that's where you fill it up. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, you blow. That's cool. Blow right in there and it makes the car go. That looks like at some point in this car's life, there was in fact sellotape holding this light uh, in. But it yes. has since been rectified, which is a good sign for us. It's quite smart, isn't it? Do you know what? That is the word for it. I think this is the smartest car that we've bought for two grand. Looks wise. Oh, what well, no, the um, PT Cruiser. Right, let's look at the reason why we've bought this. Look at her. That's big, isn't it? It's big. Shall I do it? Yes, please. Yeah, no, obviously. Oh, that's warm. <laughs> that good? Yeah? We're good. Milkman's happy. Do you want to tell me about this engine, actually, while we're under here? Okay, so we've got a twin cam, 24 valve, um, LPG gas conversion, does about 290 brake horsepower. It's good. It looks quite clean in here. What does 24 valve mean? Does that mean it's six, six cylinder? You never. You're a Jap car expert. Sight, squeeze, bang, blow. Oh, that's a 2J. I completely forgot. That's why we're doing <laughs> This is the reason why this. we're here. Yeah. Oh, this is it. This is, this, this is a thing. Oh, we have bought a turbo. Look, there it is down there. No, 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 no. The reality is of why these are so popular is that you can get some pretty big power out of them without having to do too much. You know, you turbo one of these, what, what sort of figures you're thinking? North of 500, probably. You're, well, minimum. You're not actually minimum. wrong. No. No, no. Minimum. 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 Yeah. You'd be surprised to see one with less than 500, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. These, this day and age, with what you can get out there. Yeah. And they're supposed to be pretty bulletproof as well. So even on 240k miles, I reckon this one will be in good health. And they also sound pretty saucy when they're turbo. This one doesn't sound as good. 
And one of the other reasons why we overpaid. Someone's got to nick the bloody cat out of it, haven't they? Do you want to hear it with this involuntary decap? Yeah. Is this a nice place that we're in? Yeah. We're going to piss the locals off. Oh, okay, hi. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut that off. Yeah. That's the little LPG gas button. So when it starts getting low, you hit that and it will actually just switch back to petrol. Look at this. So what, that, what is not to like about that aesthetic of that map? I love it. Right. Summary for it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you are easily pleased, aren't you? Has it got silver leather? Is this silver leather? <gasps> Ethan, we did it. You gotta be happy about that. Come on, silver leather. Start her up. Let's have a look at the uh, the old warning light situation on the dash. Oh. Got a good collection and the engine light. Ah, ah, the engine lights are always. Yeah. Up. How often do we buy cars with engine lights on? It's, it's, just a sensor. it's never hurt us, has it? Is that smoke from that exhaust from that decat coming into the cabin? Oh, right. Okay. No, look, look, turn it off. <laughs> You're right. Don't like it. We're gonna go for a little test drive, see what this is about. Ethan, do you wanna drive or shall I? Nah, you drive. You're, you're a better driver than me. Let's go. Yeah. We've got gas in there. We have got gas in there. We've got two bars of signal. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> What's it like? It's sort of like a big Japanese car. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Oh. I can't shush it, it's just uh, doing what it wants to do. Oh, what have we done? I know, I know, I know. What is that vibration? I think the lovely decat that the Thieves have done for this car is making it so loud in here that it's rumbling all the stuff behind the dash. She hates it. Everyone hates it. I hate it. I hate it. You picked it, it's your car. We, oh. want, we wanted a 2J, we wanted a 2J and this yeah, was well, a- why didn't we get my 2J? Because your 2J was way too sensible no, to purchase. No, let's not bicker, it's just what it wants. It wants us to argue. What's the steering like? It's a bit heavier than I'm used to. I've not driven one of these, so I don't know if this is normal or whether the power steering pump's on the way out. <laughs> you drive right, stop right? Stop's really good. This is the only speed I'm comfortable doing in this car because <laughs> it's too loud. Let's give it a little bit. Don't like it. We need to sort that out as soon as possible. Uh, get online. Let's find somewhere that's got an exhaust. Are you telling me to do that? Yes, yes. Well, that's let's, my job. Let's now. pick one up on the way back and we'll fit it, <laughs> we'll fit it at a service station. Side of the M40. I feel like this could be good on the motorway, but there's a lot of vibrations and rattles going on. So Yeah, there's not many cars that I drive and I feel it in my bones. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> And look, this looks like a car where it shouldn't feel like that. This Come. somewhat spoils the luxury aspect yeah, yeah, of a GS300, yeah. doesn't it? So that was about 30 miles an hour, but it sounds like we were doing 600. It's too great a car all day. I don't know that it is. It's just, we, we, we have to be in the mindset that it is because we've just spent that. It's got 240,000 miles on it. I'd have paid four grand for it. But we have done it. Granted, there were much better options, but when life throws you a 2J with 240,000 miles on it, I don't think you can say no. It'd be you rude not to. Yeah, you can't. Don't do this. Buy, buy the better car if you're going to go purchase yeah, cars. Yeah, the cheaper car. Or the cheaper car. Yeah, the better, cheaper car. Buy yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you enjoyed this episode, you can watch more episodes here. And if you want to subscribe, down there. Right, let's find an exhaust and let's fix this thing. Okay.